winners take their positions. Four, on the tracks are 10 fastest objects created by humans. Three, fans are worried, complete silence at the stadium. Two, who will be the winner? One, the fastest human-made object ever built. Go! In 10th place, we have a missile, or rather, Air Force hypersonic rocket sled. This is a special mechanism on rails with a rocket engine created to test rockets and other space objects. Its top speed is just shy of 6,600 miles per hour. This rocket sled is so fast, you won't see it if you blink. A 10 miles long test track, the longest of its kind, was built specifically for this sled. Far ahead, the NASA X-43A, or HyperX, unmanned supersonic flying vehicle is in ninth place. This bird flies at a speed of 6,800 miles per hour, which is 8.2 times the speed of sound. However, it lags behind its closest rival by almost two and a half times. Eighth place is shared between two sisters, Space Shuttles Columbia and Discovery. By the way, Columbia was the first successful reusable ship in the history of space exploration. To stay in orbit, these shuttles had to reach a speed of 17,500 miles per hour. By the way, this necessary speed for stable orbiting applies to all shuttles. At this speed, the crew could watch the sunrise every 45 minutes. Both shuttles successfully completed more than 50 space missions. And we rise higher and higher from the Earth. And what do we see here? This participant is confidently taking the seventh place. This is Apollo 10, the spacecraft that NASA used for rehearsal of the moon landing. When returning to Earth from the lunar orbit in 1969, gravity accelerated Apollo 10 to a velocity of nearly 25,000 miles per hour at the altitude of 400,000 feet. The Guinness World Record states that Apollo 10 holds the record for the fastest a human has ever traveled. However, the Apollo 10 mission report states the maximum speed at entry was 24,816 miles per hour. In sixth place, far in outer space, the Stardust space probe flies. In 1999, NASA sent this probe to collect samples from the comet Wild 2 and it brought these samples to Earth already in 2006. In space, it developed its maximum speed of 28,860 miles per hour. Seven years is not so bad for a delivery service, given that the probe flew 2.8 billion miles. It's like a round trip from the Earth to the Sun 14 times. Now we're near the dwarf planet Pluto. Yes, recently this baby was excluded from the list of planets of the solar system, around which NASA's New Horizons Automatic Interplanetary Station flies, ranking fifth on our list. It's not even a ship, but a station, which during its mission has developed a maximum speed of 36,400 miles per hour. In 2006, NASA sent New Horizons to study Pluto. And for 13 years, this poor station was just flying and studying the lonely and cold dwarf planet. But in January 2019, it flew to study the nearest asteroid, which, according to conspiracy theories, was a real UFO. But that's another story. The fourth place goes to Voyager 1. This spacecraft was launched to study the furthest part of the solar system back in 1977. And in 2013, it entered interstellar space. At a speed of 38,000 miles per hour, Voyager 1 covers a distance of about 335 million miles each year. In 2020, it will reach nearly 14 billion miles from us, which makes it the most distant object from the Earth made by humans. It plans to complete its mission in 2025. Although Voyager 1 is not the champion of our race, it can rightfully be considered the most enduring participant. Third place goes to the Galileo spacecraft, engineered and launched by NASA in 1989 to study the atmosphere of Jupiter. Galileo's 14-year mission ended in 2003 when the spacecraft was deliberately set into Jupiter's atmosphere. Before crashing, it managed to develop a speed of 108 miles per hour. At that speed, 
one could drive around the Earth at the equator in 14 minutes, assuming there were bridges across all the oceans, or to the moon and back in only five hours. The second place is shared by two space probes, Helios 1 and Helios 2. Go figure. The first develop a speed of 147 900 miles per hour, and the second 153,500 miles per hour. Both devices were launched in the 1970s by NASA and are currently in the sun's orbit. Both send information about solar dust, solar storms, plasma, and other hot stuff to Earth. And the champion of our competition is Parker Solar Pro. Like Helios, it studies the sun, but it flies at an incredible speed of 213,200 miles per hour. In October 2018, it set the record at a close distance to the sun. With each lap in its orbit, the Parker accelerates and is estimated to reach the speed of 430,000 miles per hour by 2024. In general, as you understand, the closer to the stars, the faster. Okay, let's lose the track announcer guy for now. See you next time! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we found ourselves in the vast expanses of space, it seems like a good idea to learn what the fastest object in the universe is. And then you'll find out all about the speed that cannot be overcome. In 2014, astronomers from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics recorded the highest speed in the universe. And no, this is not a UFO, but a piece of plasma that flew out of a black hole. According to the calculations, this plasma moves in a spiral and forms a cone at a speed of nearly 6 million miles per hour. Fortunately, this incredible force flies far from us in another galaxy, 50 million light years away. And one light year is, well, I won't bore you with such a huge number of zeros. Simply put, the distance you cover within one year at the speed of light is one light year. And the speed of light is about 186,000 miles per second. You do the math. So this is the speed limit for everything in the universe. And what is most interesting, no object that has mass according to the laws of physics can move at such a speed. Particles of light, or photons, do not have mass, so they are the only things that can. Photons only need 8 minutes and 20 seconds to reach our planet from the sun. But let's imagine, hmm? That humanity someday creates a ship that can accelerate to the speed of light. Believe me, this will be the most incredible experience of mankind. I invite you on board. We start the engines. Are you ready? We pick up speed, achieve the speed of light, and the ship falls to pieces in a couple of seconds. The fact is that at such a speed, even several hydrogen atoms will crash with such force that it would form a dose of radiation tens of thousands of times stronger than a person could withstand. A ship armor which could withstand such a strong impact of radiation hasn't yet been invented. Okay, attempt number two. Now our ship is equipped with a force field, and nothing can destroy it. Here we are, gaining speed again. We reach the light limit and overcome it by just four thousandths of a mile per second. At this moment, something unbelievable happens. The law of cause and effect is violated. First goes the cause, and then the effect. In simple terms, this means that you should first become hungry and then eat a burger. It can't be that you eat a burger and then you get hungry. But on our ship, it can. Imagine that having overcome the speed of light, we are catching up with the photons that our sun let out 8 minutes ago. Our speed increases, and we outrace the photons from yesterday, then a week ago, then a month, then a year. In fact, we are flying through the passage of time into the past. When we approach the speed of light, time on our ship slows down. And when we overcome it, time goes backward. But this is not even the worst. According to the theory of relativity, the faster the speed, the more mass of the object increases and its size decreases. Our ship will become infinitely heavy and infinitely small. Do you know what happens when any object begins to endlessly become heavy? Ding ding, black hole. A huge black hole will begin to absorb everything around and increase indefinitely. It doesn't sound very good, but we just wanted to fly. 
Even if humanity invents a way to travel at such speeds, we won't need it. We will learn to overcome space rather with the help of portals or rabbit holes, thanks to which we can find ourselves anywhere in the universe in a split second. Ooh, blows my mind. How about you? Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.